All right, welcome to uh, our uh, area perimeter and volume calculation uh, with a little bit of unit conversion. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do number one, and you're going to do two, three, and four, excuse me, two and three on your own, and then I'm going to also give you an example of number four, and then you're going to try to do that on your own, okay? So let's start off with number one. What is the area of the picture below? So if you look at this picture here, we have a volume 3D object, so that means it has a length, width, and a height. We only want the area, okay? So when you're talking about area, which is A, we don't know that, so that's going to be question mark. If we're trying to find the area, we need to know two things. We need to know the length, and we need to know the width. Now, the best way I like to find the length and the width is that I eliminate the height, okay? So I know that the block is uh, four centimeters tall, so that is the height there. So I don't want to include four in this, so I'm just going to worry about six and three. So I'm going to say three is my uh, length and uh, six is my width, six centimeters. All right, we already have our picture here. We have a three-dimensional objects. The uh, width is six centimeters, the length is three centimeters, and the height is four centimeters, but we're calculating the area, so we do not care about height. If we look at our resource sheet, we know that the equation for area is A equal to length times width. And then now we're going to plug in our knowns into our equation. So we're going to write A equals L, which is three, not just three, but three centimeters times width, which is six centimeters. And then now we're going to go ahead and solve for it. We know that 3 times 6 is 18. And centimeters times a centimeter is going to be centimeters squared. And that is our answer for number 1. So you need to do numbers 2 and 3 on your own. Here's an example of how to do number 4. So let's say you have a robot here. I'm going to just show it to you. So let's say you have a robot, and instead of it holding, um, let's say, uh, instead of it holding 200 milliliters, I'm going to say 300 milliliters, okay? So let's say we have a robot, and it can hold 300 milliliters, all right? And then the question is asking... A robot can hold two, uh, 300 milliliters in a reservoir. Based on the information above, how many robots would you need to hold three deciliters? So I know it says two here, but I'm just giving you an example because I want you to do this one on your own. So if you want to figure out how many robots would it take to hold three deciliters, okay? So here, the, uh, the picture, it gave you a conversion table. So I'm going to draw the conversion table here. So it says one deciliter equals 10 liters and a thousand milliliters equals one liter. All right. So the biggest thing I want you to get from this is that this is a two step T chart conversion. And I'm not really too worried about you getting the answer. I just really care about you setting it up correctly for now. OK, so because it is two T chart conversion, we have two conversion factors here. OK, so since it's two conversion factors, we're going to have two T charts. So this is the first one. And this is the second one. And we want to know how many of uh, how many robots can hold three deciliters? OK, so don't worry about this three right over here. OK, so let's go ahead and start converting. So I have 300 milliliters and I know that there is a thousand milliliters in one liter. So I'm going to put a thousand at the bottom because that has the same unit as 300. And then a thousand milliliters equals one liter. And, you know, you did it correctly because the milliliters will cross out diagonally. Next, I want to ask myself, how many liters are in deciliters? It says it's 10 liters and one deciliter. So I'm going to go ahead and write the 10 liters here because it's the same unit. And then I'm going to put one deciliter at the top. 
And you know you did it right because the L's will cross out. Okay? Now, the way we're going to add this is going to be, uh, multiply this is going to be different from what I've told you. So I say that the ones at the top, you divide. And that's true. That's what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to divide 300 because it's 3 times 1 times 1 is 300. And that's 300 deciliters divided by 10 times, uh, excuse me, 1,000 times 10, which is 10,000. And when you put that in the uh, calculator, 300 divided by 10,000 is going to be point three, excuse me, point zero three deciliters. So what we want to know, we want to know how many robots from this conversion can hold three deciliters, okay? So if you look at your choices, um, you have you have two, twenty, two hundred, and a thousand. For us, it's going to be three, thirty, three hundred, and three thousand. So all we have to do is multiply one of these by 0 0.03 and see if we get three deciliters, okay? I'm gonna get a different color. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do 0 0.03 times three, that gets me 0.03. So actually, all I really care about is you doing this. So if you did this part right here, that should be fine for now, okay? Um, don't really worry too much about getting the answer. Today, I just really care about you setting up just how I set it up, okay? If you can go ahead and try to provide the answer, I want you to go ahead and do it, do it on your own. Do it on your own. I really just care about you setting it up correctly for right now. And I want you to go ahead and try to see if you can get the answer on your own. Thank you.